So um, I'm not saying I'm even close to being done with my exercise here, but I've, I think I've done a nice job creating a sense of hierarchy. See a little, a couple little things I'd like to change um, in terms of how everything's set up. Um, you don't have to keep the words blah, blah, by the way, if you want to actually add text here, that's totally okay. Um, you're welcome to have things overlap as well. I didn't do any of that, but you could. So in theory, I could take, because I don't really like the way this looks, but um, because it's a fictitious anything, I could take this, where is it? Too many layers. There it is. I could take this layer and move it up. Maybe put this in here, resize it, and have it kind of fit in this area. And maybe I do want to center justify this if it's a small amount of text. Again, remember the general rule of thumb is if it's a lot of text, um, don't do that. But um, it, the goal is not to make yours look like mine. The goal is to make it look good for what it is. And I'm just going to use my smart guide to go ahead and figure out where this should be center justified. Or if that's just being too difficult, check this out. I don't have to do that. This is a quick refresher, so I've got that. Hold down the command key, and I'll just have the computer do the work for me. There we go. So I just center justified that. See? So easy. All right. So font, right? Important. Very, very important stuff. Um, what you need to do is um, think about how you're going to make this font work for you. Um, let's play around with this a little bit. Um, instead of using just a default font, let's go to my favorite site, www.defont.com. I love this site. And there are all kinds of different categories for font. So for example, um, if I go to, let me see, so many options, so little time. Ooh, destroy. What's under destroy? These are all cool. Look at this. Like Glitch City, that's a pretty cool font. And that's just page one of... 36 for that, so I'm just going to randomly click on page 7 here. And um, let's grab, what's a funky one, Hair of the Dog, why not? Okay, so um, look over on the side, you see where it says free for personal use? Make sure it says free for, for personal use. If it says donationware, usually that means that you, or like demo, you have to pay to use it. As long as it says 100% free, it's fine. And it'll work. You'll think it's working, but then you'll click on it. And I found it's sometimes like a little dingbat comes up that you don't want. So just make sure it's working for you before you uh, download it. So Sweet Break's kind of crazy too. So you have to find what works best for you. So many options, so little time. I could easily spend hours, in fact I have, <laughs> looking for um, different fonts to use. Um, but here's the point I'm trying to make. Um, some of these fonts clearly are harder to read than others. And um, if you go back to my example right here, I, I present it right here. This is a great font that I found online, and I like this font, um, but I probably wouldn't use this for like a lot of text. I would use this for a title, like a lot of simple, because it's, it's really, really hard to read. And that's a common problem that happens is that I see a lot of artists fall in love with like a crazy font like this and then they have like a long document with it and you're like what I, I, I can't read it so like swashbunkers great right beautiful font oh donation work darn it um ha, ha, ha. noises in the attic demo bummer okay so I'm looking for something that's 100% free wow bad page okay breakable I'll just grab that so I hit um and let me show you a trick too. If you click on this and you kind of want to see what it's going to look like, like if I type in the word title, right, and hit size large, you can get a preview of what your font would look like typed out with the words you have. So, you know, if my title is like cute bunny, right, and I don't know if I'm going to use caps or not. Let's see what happens though. Sometimes it only does it in caps. Oh, this one has lower caps too. That's good. So you can see what that's going to look like with whatever font you happen to have, okay? I call this right, White Rabbit. I like that. Okay, so you download the font by clicking on this button over here, and usually there's a zip file that happens. So that zip file will show up in downloads. You click on the zip file to get the larger file, and then I'm going to double click on this open folder, and I'm usually looking for either OTF or TTF. In this case, it's an OTF. Double click on the OTF. This should show up. 
Sometimes there's more than one option. In this case, it's only one option. And then you click Install Font. So remember, it's called Breakable. Okay, and these are a few of the other fonts I have installed on this computer now. And now if I go back to Photoshop, and I think I'm going to make that my title here. So I'm going to take this, and I think I'm going to change this from blah, blah, because I'm not really crazy with that. I'm going to call this White Rabbit. I think I need to change the size, too. And then I'm also going to go to, because he's obviously different text, different font, to Breakable, which probably is in alphabetical order. It's not always, but there it is. Yay. There's my title. Cool. And obviously, I'm going to have to resize that to fit the space. You know, I, I could stretch it out, but that looks weird. So that's fine. I'll just, I have to adjust everything else and make it work. But maybe I'm going to do a little overlapping here. Why not? That looks pretty good. And adjust. But that's how the fonts work. So um, feel free to download two different fonts. Have a font for your title that's cool, crazy awesome, whatever. But then choose something else that's more legible for the body of your work. And, and you choose what that's going to be. Um, typically, you don't want more than two fonts at a time. And remember, if you're just trying to decide, just go back to themes. And sometimes, like, this will give you a little bit of information, but just go easy on some of these crazy, like, <laughs> oh, I think I'm in symbols or some bitmap, some crazy fonts here, you know, that's cool. All right, have fun and play around with that, people.